which was more important to you at the deadline, fun factor or guys that were hot? Because obviously both the Rosarena and uh, Justin Turner were red hot coming in. What was most important to you? You know, I mean, the hot part certainly helps. Uh, we, we were ice cold going into this road trip and finding hitters who, who were in tune with their swing, who were going good, was definitely – you know, something that was important to us, but we really wanted to inject some life into our team. You know, we had a really rough month leading into this road trip coming out of the all-star break and, and we knew something needed to change or, or I guess something needed to give. And uh, Randy Rosarena brings life and Justin Turner brings experience and, and just a clubhouse presence. And when you get to meet Jimmy Garcia, you know, that he is he is a very outgoing, fun to be around guy, and you know we know JT Chagua from years past, and he fits our group. It's a it's the the fun factor certainly increased, but I guess more importantly, having guys who like you saw last night can can put the ball in play, can drive in the big run, can do the little thing that gets the team rolling, and you know and and can lift the team up a little bit because I think we needed it, and, and hopefully that's what we got. Over the course of the last week or two, were there players out there that you made offers for with some of those top 10, top five kinds of prospects that, that, the, uh, that the ranking systems uh, consider? Were there guys where you said, hey, yeah, I would like to trade this player for yours, but the other team just said no? We we have uh, been pretty open about this. Is that when we talk to other teams, uh, it, we will generally be open to anything and and suggesting which players we will move in a in a certain trade is relative to the player you're acquiring. So how these talks go is at the very start of it, and we'll use Randy or Rosarena as a as a an example. You know, the, the Rays might ask. You know, if we are, if we're to put a Rosarena in play, you know, who's off limits for you? And, you know, in that one, you might pick a name two or three. And, you know, we wouldn't move off our major league team because it really doesn't help what we're trying to achieve here. Here's a couple of prospects that we might not be willing to push in. Or if we're pushing in, you're not getting multiples. And, uh, and then they've got to go through their work, vetting through, you know, the, the names that you have made available. So it just goes back and forth. And, and ultimately what winds up happening in many of these deals is teams prefer volume to, to the biggest prospect name you've heard of more and more with each passing year. And you've got a better chance of hitting by getting multiple good prospects than one fabulous prospect. And it's a, it's, it's a weird, I guess, a weird development in this generation, but that's become more and more prominent is trying to, to gather as many potential major leaguers as you can. So then last thing here, and we'll just ask quickly, describe your team now versus what they were a week or so ago. How would you describe this current team? Uh, I would say this current team, and I'm, I will add this current team with the the prospect of, of adding Julio and JP again. Um, you know, I, we thought this was a, a good offensive club when the year started. And, you know, perhaps that was wrong. Uh, perhaps we're seeing a little bit of it now. I think Polo is really breaking out since the week before the All-Star game. He's been what we what we expected to get with Jorge Polanco. He's, he's on fire. I think you're getting the good versions of a lot of our players because now they don't stress as we head into August and September. We've been down this road now for the fourth consecutive year as a, as a contender. But this time we go in in first place. You know, we'll start August in first place. And, and we've been in first place for most of the season. So you know, I, I think the confidence level that comes with that is just different than, than what we've experienced in years past. And, you know, I, I think this team is inspired. This team, uh, I think, is relieved, if I had to use another word, that we went out and we found guys that help that really brings something to both the clubhouse and the energy on the field. And, and I know guys are fired up that, that we we're leading it and, and we have a chance to go run away and, and we're going to try, you know, I, I know it's last night was, was another, we were down and you know, that was, we've seen that game happen numerous times this year and, you know, they add on, we sit still and we lose that game. 
this this time we didn't. We came charging back. We put on the, the big inning where we dropped down bunts. We ran bases. We took our walks and and we hit our homers. You know, or they drilled balls off the wall. It was it, that's what you're, you're looking to see is the the barrage, the constant pressure. And I think this team today is built better for that opportunity or, or that goal is to 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 create constant pressure than we were last Thursday. And, you know, and, and we should be even better with that when we get Julio and JP back.